All right, quick update before we get into the video. I know I haven't been uploading much at all lately. Again, I was preparing for the club series that we played in just last week. So that's done with. We're focused on YouTube now, on the main channel, on the second channel. I'm gonna be trying to bring as much content as I can to you all. So that's the quick update for you. Let's jump into this video. What's good, everybody? And we're back. Club series is no more for us because we lost. But that's okay, we had fun. Now it was stressful, it was definitely stressful in the moment, but overall we had fun. There were some very exciting games. If you're all interested in seeing those games, whether you missed them the first time, or if you even just wanna watch them again, we're going to be uploading all six games over to Chaos Clips. We actually already uploaded one yesterday. We're gonna to continue to upload until we get through all six of them. And if you are interested in watching them and you're not subbed to Chaos Clips already, that second channel is gonna be linked in the description below. If you don't wanna sub, that's perfectly cool too. Completely up to you. Now we can get right, that's enough for club series. No more with club series. Let's get into this video now. We can talk about Terry McLaurin, who I think might be maybe the best wide receiver in the game right now. We can talk about our theme teams and how we can use theme teams to help boost speed on our entire team. We'll talk about that in a second. Let's jump over to this lineup. Here's the lineup. I'll talk about the theme team stuff again in a bit. But we have Josh Allen as our QB, Kyler Murray as our backup. We chose Kyler Murray over other fast QBs for that QB draw because of that Cardinals theme team. We have Reggie Bush, Raheem Mostert, Edron James to meet that Cardinals theme team again. Terry McLaurin. Now, I talked about Terry McLaurin a little bit already. I believe this is the best wide receiver in the game just based off stats. And then for our second wide receiver, we have Stefan Diggs, who I actually believe is the second best wide receiver in the game right now. Those are the two. If you have other ones, Calico's great. DK Metcalf, who's actually our third wide receiver, is also a great one. There's several great receivers, but based on stats, those are the top two that I would choose. Now, we do have DK, as I already said, but I actually don't play DK Metcalf very much. We put a running back in that middle slot or a tight end. Usually it's gonna be a tight end, but every once in a while, maybe a running back because that way we can audible down to some stronger run formations rather than the trips tight end. So usually it's gonna be a tight end, sometimes a running back. And then if we really just wanted to pass the ball only, we put DK Metcalf in there. But going over to tight ends, we have Darren Waller who actually plays tight end for us. And then we have Vernon Davis who will put into that slot. O-lines improved a little bit since our last video. But I want to quickly talk about here the theme team. So we have 25 out of 50 for Cardinals, and then we have 25 out of 50 for Niners. That gives us plus one speed to everyone that matches that chemistry. So we have Kyler Murray, for example. That'll get plus one speed. Reggie Bush and Raheem Mostert, both matching that Niners chem. They'll get plus one speed. Vernon Davis, another one. Then defensively, it's also really important to base because that's that's usually that's actually where we use it. That's most of the that's most of the reason why we chose those two teams to get those corners boosted. We have DRC with Cardinals. We have Deion Sanders with Niners, and then we have Antonio Cromartie with uh, Cardinals. That's three cornerbacks. I actually play Antonio Cromartie usually at safety, but that's three DBs that are going to get that plus one speed, which is a really important position right now. Now the way that we did this, I want to quickly go over here how we were able to get these 25 out of 50s without having to lose some of the players that didn't match those chems, right? Because like, for example, Micah Hyde, that doesn't match with that chemistry, but we were able to keep them in because of different things that we did. And the way that we did that was by taking certain positions that we could put in the specialist and taking them out. So Kennard here, right? Matches the Cardinals chemistry. We get that plus one to the, to the 25 out of the Cardinals, but that's actually not who plays right outside linebacker for us. We actually have LT who can play that position for us. So we were able to put LT who doesn't match Cardinals or Niners into that rush right end spot. Same thing here with Javon Kurse. Javon Kurse doesn't match either of those teams, but we were able to get them at the rush DT spot. And that way we didn't have to worry about them taking up a spot of that 25 out of 50, right? So we were going to use players like Leroy Glover, Justin Smith, um, just different players that match the chemistries without having to take up a position of those players. So I hope that makes sense. If you all have any more questions about it, feel free to comment. I'll try to explain it a little bit better, but that's how we were able to get 25 out of 50 on both without losing some of the players that we wanted to keep that didn't match those teams. So we have Micah Hyde, Tyran Matthew. We have Taylor Mays who does match that Niners cam. We have Adrian Wilson, and we already went over our three corners. Uh, plus then we have Denzel Ward now. So that's the team. We have these other ends and different defensive linemen, but we really don't play them very much. We have our middle linebackers as well. Patrick Willis, Sam Mills, but it, we usually put a safety there because we're usually in big nickel over G. So we don't really use linebackers too often. That's how we were able to get this team together. I think it's been pretty cool having two different theme teams at 25 out of 50, getting that plus one speed to a lot of important positions on the team. Um, get with the playbooks, haven't changed. Raiders offense, 4-6 defense, 
that is it for the team. Again, I hope I explained the chemistry as well, how we we're able to get those theme teams at 25 to 50 without losing some of those players. Feel free to comment below if you have any more questions. That's it for the team. Let's jump into the game. Here we go with game one. You actually see we're in our Super Bowl for this one. Here we go. We're actually gonna be starting this one on defense. That's cool. We'll see what we can do. I'm actually gonna be trying to play a couple games, two, maybe three. Let's see what we can do. They're coming out in this empty. We're gonna be looking for the QB draw. If it's not the QB draw, that's fine. But we're gonna be looking for that first and see what they see what they plan on doing with their game plan. It's not the draw. It's not the draw. Can we get that knockout? Nice play. I was looking for the draw. It was a pass. Nice play. So I have to continue to look for that draw. There it is. We have to look out for the draw. We have to watch for the draw all game. That's the number one thing we're looking for when they're in this five wide. If they happen to pass, we'll try to play the best fast defense we can. But if they go to that draw, we do not want to give them a big play. They're going to this gun bunch now. They have a different QB running the two quarterback system. Oh, can we get a knockout on that? Oh, we, we got a pick on that. Let's go, DRC. I definitely thought all we were going to give was a knockout. We'll take the pick. Definitely a nice way to start our Super Bowl off. Here, we're going to be trying to go deep. Oh, we're not going to be able to do it. We're not going to be able to do it. I wanted to try to go for a big play after a turnover. It's nice to go after a big play. See if you can get capitalized on that momentum that you have. They blitz. Nice play. We'll continue to try to go for it here. If they don't blitz here, I'm going to go for another big play because... This looks like it's going to be man-to-man -man coverage. We're trying to go over the top here. Oh, can we throw it? Oh, I think we might have it. I wasn't expecting blitz. I was not expecting blitz. We're going to block our running back here. They've been blitzing, so we're going to have to counter that. They're blitzing again, but we have the time. Can we get that catch? McLaurin, nice catch. We're going to continue to look for McLaurin here. McLaurin did a great job on that first play. We're going to have McLaurin again. We're going to have McLaurin again. Can we get there? No, that actually... Could have been an interception. That wasn't the best pass lead by me. I would probably throw that again, but we'll have to do it a different, little bit differently. I'm going to run it again here, though, because I think it was there. I think it was there. We just can't go for the rat catch. I don't know why we did that. Wasn't the best play, but we're going for it again here. We'll see what McClure can do. Oh. Oh, no. That's not the route we wanted. That's not the route we wanted. We're just going to run. We're just going to run with Josh Allen. We were looking for the post route. It wasn't a post route. We'll take the yards. It looks like they're staying in this man coverage here. We actually called the play that we wanted this time. We gotta take Reggie, we gotta take Reggie. We might've had the crossing route. I'll show it back to you here. I saw it as we were throwing the running back. We might've had that. We might've had that. We didn't throw it, but we're gonna go back to it at some point. Not right now. We're gonna go back to it at some point. Not right now. We have to make sure we pick up this first down. They don't have a press on B, so our slant should be there. If not, we should have our post going across the middle. We should have one of them. We've got Waller, we've got Waller. Nice catch. This is probably going to be a blitz right here. We're looking for a quick pass, either to our tight end or to McLaurin. We have McLaurin! McLaurin! Yeah! Looking for this QB draw here again. Oh, I missed! I missed! We had Micah Hyde! No! No! I said earlier in the game we didn't want to give him big plays on that. I had a chance. I completely whiffed. That's okay. If this is a run play right here, we're looking to shoot the gap. Micah Hyde! Can we get... Oh, we couldn't get it! We were able to shoot the gap! But we weren't. No, no, it's going to be a touchdown. Oh, we were able to shoot the gap. But we did nothing. We did nothing else. Nice play. That new Moster is actually very fast. We're using them as well because of that Niners chem. But very fast card. Definitely a usable running back. As well as a wide receiver. If you want to put them out wide, Moster's not going to be bad out there either. Nice play by our opponent. We got to answer back here. If they're going to stay in this man-to-man -man coverage, I'm going to try to beat them over the top with McLaurin. Nice catch. We're going to try to continue to beat them over the top because man coverage, if they're not going to have deep blues over the top, it is susceptible to that. It's going to be a very good coverage. I use a lot of man coverage too, but it's going to be susceptible to those deep passes. So we have to try to look for them. It's, we don't have to, but it's nice to pick up those big chunks if we can do it. We're not going to do it here, but it's nice to have an opportunity to do so. We're going to have this post. We're going to have this post. Yes, we got the pass off. It was inaccurate. We got hit. That's okay. I'm actually going to max protect here to try to make sure we pick up this blitz. Then we're looking for McLaurin again. We're looking for McLaurin again. Nope, not going to be there. They had the whatever zone that was. They had it out there. Diggs, Diggs, Diggs. We'll take it. We're back on defense now. We're going to try to do a better job than we did on the last drive. We gave up a touchdown in two plays. We'll try to do better this time. We got to watch this draw. We have to watch the pass to its draw. They're doing a great job with their patience. They're doing a great job with our patience. Just waiting, waiting for that gap to open. Then they're going. They're back in this I form wing now. We're going to try to shoot the gap with Maze. Is Maze fast enough? Maze is just fast enough. Actually, Maze has that plus one speed over Micah Hyde because of that Niners chemistry. That's probably the difference right there in that tackle. Oh, no. Oh, no. 
Oh no, I wasn't right. I wasn't in the gap. We're getting this draw is giving us a ton of trouble. We were ready to get there. We're ready to shoot this gap again if we have to. We're ready to shoot this gap again. Oh, good job, Taylor Mays. Oh no, oh no. We are not getting set up. It's under two minutes. When it's under two minutes, that means you don't have to wait the five seconds to hike the ball because you're in like a little bit of rush mode. So you can just come out and hike. We're not getting set up for the draw. If they go back to that draw, we just, we have to, here, they're going back to it. We just have to get set up a lot faster. A lot faster. Okay, we're ready. We're ready. I think, oh, it's Joe Montana. It's Joe Montana. They're not going to run draw. They're not running draw. I'm playing purely pass defense. Well, they are going to run the draw, but that's, I thought it was going to be, Joe Montana's really fast. I thought it wasn't going to be draw, but it was. We're going to have to figure something out very soon here because we're not stopping. There we go. That was a little bit better because we haven't been stopping it at all. At all. We're ready for it again here. I'm running with Sneed. Sneed. Nice juke. I, I can't stop it. I cannot stop it. And all we're going to have to do is just try to outscore him. You know what? I actually just figured out the issue with our draw defense. I wasn't blitzing the safety that was coming down into the box. I was allowing them to stay in coverage. And that was allowing them a lot more time in the backfield to pick which hole they were going to. That was our mistake. We'll be able to change in the second half. I think we'll be okay. I'd like to start this half off with a score here just because that way we can have our lead. We, if we have our lead, we'll be in a nice spot. Whether on one defense, whether we can get the stop or not, we'll have that lead. That'll be a nice cushion to have. If we don't, if we don't get a stop, we'll have the ball back with a chance to probably win the game late in the fourth quarter. But if we are with a lead and we get that stop, then we're in even better spot. We're actually going to run the ball here. But a score here would be really nice. Pretty, pretty much that's all I'm trying to say. A score here would be pretty nice. We're looking for Waller or we're looking for McLaurin going across the field here. I wanted to try McLaurin. I wanted to try, but we don't want to make any mistakes right here. We might have McLaurin over the top right here. We won't. We won't. We've got our slant. Nice job, Diggs. We might have our post for a touchdown right here. We might. We don't. And we have our curl route. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, wow. That could have definitely have been a pick. We're looking for Waller trying to get over the top for a touchdown here. Oh, we might have had it. We might have had it. And we didn't throw it. Just run with Josh. Just run. Slide. Ooh, we got a slide on those. We might have had the touchdown. But again, I didn't want to risk it. We're going to try it again, though. If it's there, I'm going to throw it over the top to Waller. If it's not there, we won't throw it. I got to try it. I got to try it. Waller! Waller! What a catch! Wow! That wasn't as open as I may have intended there. We'll take the touchdown. Let's see if we can get a stop. All right, I think we can stop this draw now. I think we can stop this draw. I thought blitzing that slot would help. I thought it would help. It didn't. I'm just not stopping it. Both Michael Mick and even Joe Montana is beating us with this draw. I think we have it this time. I think we have it this time. There we go. There we go. Let's continue to try to stop this. We'll see if they run the draw with Joe Montana here before. I thought that they definitely weren't going to run it with Joe Montana. But they didn't, it worked. So we have to be ready for it. Okay, not this time. Uh-oh. Oh, way to break off Dion! Way to break off Dion! Because the initial man coverage was beat. The initial man coverage did not work. But Dion Sanders broke off. Yes! I apologize. I hit my microphone right there. I, that was probably pretty loud. I'm sorry. Slant could be there here. So we should look for it just in case. Nope. Ooh! Waller! Oh, I, that was a little bit of a tight window. That's cool. We're looking for Waller or the slant here. Waller or the slant. We have the slant. Oh, we we might have had McLaurin. We might have had McLaurin. We're going back to the same, a very similar play here. We've got McLaurin this time. We've got McLaurin this time. Let's go. We needed the fourth down. Oh, that was a big play. That was a big play. Now, the goal for this drive is just not to give anything quick. Nothing over the top. No big plays for touchdowns. We want to play contained defense. We'll send our flat here. Oh, yes, me. Let's go. I just was going to say, I didn't. I just want to play contained defense. No quick touchdowns. Make them work as hard as possible. Take as much time as we can. We'll take a stop. Definitely, need, no, we'll, definitely we'll take that. Definitely we'll take that. That puts us in a position here. To probably possibly close out this game. We're just gonna run the ball on this play. If we need to pass, we will, but we're gonna try to close out this game with this clock moving here. We're going to just stretch. It looks like it could actually be there. No, nope, we'll, we'll take the few yards. We'll take the few yards. Diggs might be there right here. Diggs might be there. I think it was there. I think it was there, but I didn't throw it. I think it was there, but I didn't. I'm still up. Oh, I, I took the hand off the controller. You saw like this. 
Nice play. When I started getting tackled, I just assumed that I was going to get sacked. Josh Allen did a good job breaking the sack right there. I think we have McLaurin. I think we have McLaurin again. McLaurin. McLaurin has been awesome in this game. Beating the man coverage. Let's go. Same strategy here. Just don't want to give up any big plays over the top. Look at that patience. Look at that patience. They do a great job with this draw. Seriously. This is one of the better draws that I've played. That patience back there to keep me from being able to make a play. Nice job. Trying to give anything deep over the top right here. Keep everything in front. Oh, that's a nice route. That's not keeping everything in front. That's a great route. Watching for the draw here. But if it's not draw, I'm lurking back to the middle. I don't want to give up that same route we just gave up. It's not draw. Oh, that was a great route. Both sides. I had to the burn. Look like they were there. Things like they're there. I said, don't give up anything quick. We gave up a quick touchdown. They actually went for two there, likely to put some pressure on us if they got it. Just so if we if we turn it over, they would be within not just a touchdown, but to be able to take the lead if they got another one. So that's probably why they did that. We were able to get a stop there. We're just going to try to run clock right here. That's the only goal is just to try to run clock. We went to the stretch there. Good run defense. We'll go to inside zone now. Just want to run this clock down. Make sure we don't make any mistakes. No interceptions. No pick sixes. Anything like that. And just try to close this game out. Oh, we had the cutback probably. We had, Oh, that worked out well. I think we had the cutback. We'll take the inside zone. We're going to go back to this inside zone here. If they run, commit, that's fine. Reggie Bush. Reggie Bush, reach for it. And that's going to be a first down. Great job from Reggie Bush. We'll definitely take it. That's going to be the game. We're just going to kneel this one out. And that's going to do it. Great game to our opponent on the game two here we go with game two you see our team you see their team it should be a good one they're coming out of this gun bunch offset very effective formation this year does a good job against man does a good job against zone and but Cromarty was able to make the play though let's go Cromarty. oh i was i was gonna try to make some people miss that doesn't happen too often on our channel if you're not new you know this We'll take the interception. It's looking like man-to-man -man coverage to start the game off. We're going to try to go over the top with McLaurin. Oh, it's not going to be there. Great defense. Great defensive adjustment. Again, going after a turnover, I like to try to go over the top to see if we can continue on that momentum, right? But great defense there. We weren't able to do it. Let's just go back to just maybe just taking what's open, right? Just taking what's open. Well, nothing's open. We'll just run with Josh Allen. That works too sometimes. We're looking slanter post right here against this man coverage. We missed the table. Waller, nice catch, Waller. We're looking from a corner across the middle right here. Hopefully they don't have any deep blues in the middle. They do, that's perfect defense. Run, Josh, run, Josh. Nice block, nice block. We're in the red zone now, so we're gonna audible down to this single back wing flex close. It looks like the stretch right is there. It looks like the stretch right is there. Go Reg, go Reg. No, Reg, reach for it. Yeah, Reggie Bush, let's go. We're actually going to send some pressure right here. We didn't get anything in, but we were able to get a block set. Maybe, maybe it did come in. It looked like they were able to pick it up. We'll take it, though. We're going to send pressure here again. We didn't get home that time. Good dot. We can't, we can't send pressure every play. Well, we, we can send pressure every play, but it might not be the best strategy. Come on. Oh, we didn't send pressure this time. Hopefully, we can stop any of their routes. I, I gotta I gotta be there. I gotta be there. Oh no. We didn't get our defense set up. I got stuck a little bit. Is that a laser? That is an absolute laser. I really nice play. Wasn't we weren't set up the way we wanted to. Great dot. We're looking for our post or our crosser right here. We get that crosser over it. Oh wow. That that wasn't the best read. It wasn't the best read. We're looking slander post right here. Slander post. Got neither of them again. We got to throw the ball away. This is not where we want to be. We are on a fourth and 10. We're going to have to come up with something right here. They haven't been manning up the running backs. So we're actually putting the running back on a wheel. It's zone. It's zone. Oh, no. Ah, Waller. No, that was great. That was a great adjustment. That was a great adjustment. I didn't realize it was going to be zone. I thought it was going to be man to man. They hadn't been manning up the running back. So I thought the wheel would be there. Great defense. Oh, no. I got stuck. I got stuck right there. Ah, we couldn't knock it out. I like our defense right here. I think we'll do a little bit better job than we have been. Ooh, we're just, we're getting dotted right now. We have a purple over there to stop any of the corner routes going to the bunch side. That should help us do a little bit better job here. There we go. Doing the same adjustments again, though. I like the way those adjustments worked. Oh, wow. We had to watch the tight end and the running back. They're just doing a better job than we are on offense than we're doing on defense. If we can hold a three right here, we'll be in a really nice spot. Oh, wow. Nice air truck. Nice air truck. Nice tackle. Oh, this is going to be tough. If we can hold it three, we'll be in such a good spot. But if we give up seven, 
that's going to really set us back a little bit. Big play. We're ready to shoot the gap right here. Come on. If we can get in the backfield, come on. Like a hide. Ah, I was a little, I was like one step behind right there. We got to try to answer. It is our ball at halftime though. So if we can get a score right here, we'll be in a good spot. I'm looking for this running back wheel. Oh, they made it up this time. Really nice defense. I was looking for that running back wheel. If they weren't going to man it, it could have been a touchdown. We're not doing a great job passing the ball right now. We're going to have to figure this out. Slander post right here. Slander post. We have Waller. There we go. There we go. We could have digs over the top right here. We could. No, we'll have to take this. We'll, have, we'll take the curl. We'll take the curl. We might have Waller over the top here now. Not over the top, but we'll have a we'll have a decent gain. We'll have a decent gain. There we go. Now we're starting to pick up some yards. We got to try to continue in the next half. We got to try to get seven here. If we can get that, it's our ball at halftime. We'll be in a decent spot. I'm actually going to audible down. I want this to be the last drive of the half here. I'm going to try to take a little bit of clock. We don't want to take too much because we only have one timeout. But if we're able to get this score, we'll be in a really nice spot. We're going to the stretch. Go Reg. Go Reg. Go Reg. We'll take it. They actually ended up calling timeout, which is cool. That way we can we don't we can kind of save our own here. Just run with Josh. Just run with Josh. We can get out of bounds. Yes. We're looking for McLaurin right here. If there's no middle deep blue. Ah, they had the hook curl there. I wasn't sure. I didn't want to I didn't want to force any reads. I don't want to force any reads. We might have had it, but we don't want to force it. They're looking for that skinny post in the end zone here. We're gonna have it. We're gonna have it. Yes, McLaurin. All right, we needed that. There's still 43 seconds here. We got to try to not give up any points before half. It's our ball at halftime. I don't want to be too aggressive here, but I don't want to be too conservative either. We don't want to give up any points, but we definitely don't want to give up a touchdown. A field goal is definitely better than a touchdown here. Yes. All right, that was big. I'm actually going to call timeout here. Here's why. It's actually not necessarily to get the ball back, but it kind of forces them to run the ball. They're, yeah, you see, they're going to take this QB kneel. If we didn't call timeout, that allowed them to try to maybe go for a play and they could just run the clock down and just throw up a pass, run the ball, let it be the last play. That way it forced them to take the kneel. It doesn't give them really a chance to get a touchdown. We'll take it. You know, upon reevaluating what I was saying about the timeout, I'm not quite sure that made 100% sense. If it did make sense, great. If it didn't, you all can let me know. Going to this stretch right here. See if we can get outside with Ridge. See if we can get outside with Ridge. We'll take the yards. We're looking for McLaurin here over the top or we're looking for our tight end. Can we pass that tight end up? Ah, I, I possession caught it. I didn't want to risk racking and not getting our feet in bounds. If we could have racked it, might have been a touchdown. We'll take the catch. We're looking for McLaurin in the seams here. Or we're looking for Waller outside. We got Waller. Nice catch. We actually have our X Factor activated so we can see their play art. We should have our corner out for a touchdown. Nice bump. Really nice bump. We got the running back though. We got the running back. Go Reg. Go Reg. We'll take the first down. We have our X Factor activated. This is our first time doing this. I've actually never activated this X Factor before, at least as far as I know. So that's kind of cool to see. It actually almost threw me off guard because I was like, how do I see their play art right now? I knew I didn't have uh, any abilities for that, but then I realized I had Omaha so we can see their play art. Hopefully we can get this stretch for a touchdown right here and hopefully we don't lose that X Factor because it's nice to be able to see their play art. Let's go. This is actually a big defensive possession right here. If we can get a stop, great job, LT. If we can get a stop, we'll be in a great position. If we give up points, we still have the ball with a chance to take the lead. But if we're able to get a stop right here, we'll be in a really good spot. So we'll see what we can do right here. I'm going to try to adjust quickly because, oh, well, I messed up already. That's okay. Press, press, press. I want to try to do as best we can with adjusting quickly because they do have some really nice quick hike plays. Take away the table route. Oh, can Dion get to that? Oh no, great knockout Dion because that was open. I, I thought that was open. We'll take it. We're shaded over top here, so we shouldn't get beat anything over the top. I got this post. Uh, Micah Hyde, let's go. One block. Oh my God. Micah Hyde, yes. And that's actually going to do it. Great games to our opponents. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, please remember to like, comment, subscribe only if you want to. Also, you can check out the second channel for those Cup Series games. Again, only if you want to. Take it easy. Peace. I'll see you all in the next one.